right so we're back and and yeah so in the previous video we mostly talked about the white balance and the hue saturation and lightness and how you could use that to saturate or specific spots of your image so so again when you take that off you see the reds or like everything else and then when you put it in you see that the reds got a lot more saturated so yeah that's what we want because like I said we're gonna make everything bluish and when once we do we want his face to still retain a little bit of skin color and not just be totally dead looking so so yeah now let's go to the color correction wheels so yeah anyone who's edited with anything really like might know these might seem familiar to you so it's pretty much works like most things do except it the placement is a little different but yeah so this right here is for the highlights and right here is for the midtones and then these are the shadows so yeah, and how, what this does, if you don't, if you're not getting it yet, pretty much, this will control the bright parts of the image, while this will control the mid mid parts of the image, and the shadows will pretty much, like every part that's really dark, will be the most affected by it, by the shadows. So so that's very much what what you need to know for that. So let's reset that. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to make everything blue. So we're going to get the color reel and kind of put it like this. And also, just so you know, the S right here is for strength and then the L is for lightness. What, pretty much, what this pretty much means is, see that thing right here? What it does is when I move the strength, it pretty much just tell that little ball thing to get closer to it and increase the color so so like if right here it's only slightly blue and then right here it's really blue so that's pretty much what this does and then the lightness pretty much controls the the lightness of pretty much it's kind of similar to what the hue saturation and lightness did except this is not by color it's by I would say contrast in a way because this will mostly control the lightness of the very bright parts the highlights of the video and then this will mostly control the mid tones and of course this will be the shadows so these are also very important because sometimes you, you want to make your mid tones a little bit brighter and it, you can just do that right here so yeah, so yeah, let's get started on that and actually start color correcting it. I really don't want this video to be like so, so long. So yeah, if you guys don't mind a long video, just let me know because I can go for like 30 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's the mid-tone and I'm gonna put that slightly bluish. And for the shadows, I'm gonna put that slightly bluish again. So yeah, you see it look like that and and everything just immediately looks desaturated. For example, if if I take that out, you see a lot of colors here and then I just do that, everything is desaturated. It's like, oh man, how, how, how does that work, you know? But I, So I'm going to get to that, but let me show something real quick. If I undo this, you see that how, how unsaturated his face looks and how everything is just gone. But when I put it back in, you see that that there's some red there. So that's not that's not the best look yet, but we're getting there. So we're gonna go to these controls right here. We have the master control, highlight, midtone, shadows, and I'm just gonna open all of them. And the master control, like the other thing, master is pretty much means everything. So if I do master saturation, just gonna saturate everything. Which, which that's, not what, that's not what I'm wanting right now, but I'm just showing it to you. So let me just put saturation back to right here. And then the exposure is, if the exposure in your image is messed up, either too dark or too bright, you can change that here. But since the image was pretty good, so I'm just going to put zero right here. 
so yeah so for the highlights you're gonna see strength again so if you don't want to change it here you can always change the st strength here and then the lightness is down here so so what we're gonna do is since everything is washed out we're gonna add some saturation back in there so let me go to saturation for the mid-tones and I'm gonna saturate it a little bit and then for the shadows uh, that's lightness whoa why did I just do undo yeah <laughs> alright so for the shadows I'm just gonna up the saturation just a little bit so for right here you can already see that we do have the blue bluish look that we're looking for while still having some red in the image like if we turn this off you see how it would have looked if we didn't saturate the red but when we do that now we see how it looks so so yeah hopefully you're getting this and and so while we while I go around the image like right here especially I realize that his face is not popping out as much as I want because like I, I don't like it you know I get picky about this stuff so it's always good to know how to fix these problems like I want his face to pop out more because this is just yeah so what we can do for that is for again right here the lightness for the mid-tones since his face is part of the mid-tones I can just bring that lightness up just a tad bit and that will fix his face and makes his face pop out more but what you realize here is the shirt is overblown here because I just moved that and since we don't want that overexposed image looks bad it doesn't look very professional so what we do is we go to the highlight because the highlight controls the brightest part of the image and I just put that a little bit down until this is not overexposed anymore so yeah so that's how it's looking so here is here is before which is all kind of warm color and here is after and as you still see here we still have some red there like he's not completely washed out he still looks like a person which is what we want so so yeah that's very much it for this one so let me go to brightness and contrast and pretty much brightness and contrast works the same in every program and I'm just gonna put a little bit of contrast and then we're gonna see that like in this area right here these are really bright looking and it's a little bit too much so I'm just gonna go back here again and go to the highlights and just kind of put this down a, a tad bit and and yeah so so I think this looks a lot better maybe just some more alright so so yeah that's pretty much what it looks like now kind of a more bluish cool cool tone as opposed to this one right here so I mean you could do a lot of different adjustments in that for example like right here I'm seeing hey you know maybe that's a little bit too much I don't like that I'm seeing some blue here all I have to do is you know decrease the strength here and then after I do that you see I do get more more color here so again that's how it looked before and that's how it looked after totally bluish but you still see that there's some skin tone there so so yeah that's very much the basic idea I want you to get in how you can use the different tools in hit film to do wh whatever you're trying to do because it's it's a pretty powerful program and I and I do like the color correction system it, it got going on here so so yeah
and right be right before I leave let's say if we wanted to make this image be like a action movie look you know the basic action movie look what I would just do here is take this put it here so we're having like some bluish shadows and some orange looking midtones as you see here this is all oversaturated and that's because we did oversaturate it here in hue lightness saturation so I'm just gonna go take that down a notch and then go back here and let me decrease this little bit saturation and yeah so 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 there like we already just switched it to like a basic cool action movie look that a lot of movies tv shows have have other things and as you can see here this is just very much basic basic look straight from the camera and this just kind of adds a really cool feel feel to it and like i said that's a look you find in a lot of action movies so so yeah so so yeah that's hopefully you like this tutorial like i said this is my first tutorial so it feels kind of weird doing it so if if i need to improve on anything just comment below and just let me know hey you need to improve on that and then i'll say okay sorry i'll improve on that so so hopefully you learn something from this and how to you use these tools to get the look you, you wanting to get for whatever effect whatever look you're going for so hopefully you like this and if you like this tutorial be sure to subscribe because i will be making a bunch more tutorials and filmmaking tips and and a lot more stuff so so yeah if you're liking what you're seeing here be sure to subscribe because that's also encouragement for me to keep doing it so so thanks for watching this and hopefully you learned something Thank you.